hi friends welcome back to my channel i am back with another video called uh, how we can change the logo and themes into your powered platform and into your modern driven app so these are the ways that there are two ways that we can change it so let's get started with the video so first is how we can change the theme over here you need to come here go here and you can need to select the theme as per your requirement so currently i have selected this one so that's why you can see the theme over here okay so that's how you can set the theme of your power plat uh mix.powerapps.com in here and then to change the theme into your modern driven app there are two ways so first is without uh, doing any you know uh, adding web resources and just uh, it's a configuration settings so you need to go to your environment and then you need to click the customization and wherever you want to change the uh, you know themes so you need to go to themes and these are the default themes so you if you want to create your own theme so you can click on this default theme and you need to click on clone so basically it will clone the existing theme provided by the microsoft so first you can change the logo so in order to change the logo you need to get the file into your system so create the file into your solution as a web resource and then <clears throat> and then add it into your uh, you know environment and then select suppose i have selected this and uh, then the how to change the colors so you can change the color to change the color you can go to the googles and find the color code so i suppose i want to take this color so i can come here and take this as the color of this uh, navigation bar self so i can give this color okay similarly i can give another color for the neon green for the navigation bar right so it's very uh, you know easy way to change the color because you can see how it's reflecting here right so that's all so once you set all this default entity color like it's a you new know, default when you go to customization under that how the entity should display and then how it how our color should look like how the background color should be look like how the logo should be how the logo tool tape you know under that logo uh what is see here it is displaying like copy of so you can change this so uh you know name of the your theme so you can change that so that will display over there so that's how you need to save all those changes and once you save you need to publish okay so once you publish this theme then this theme will be applied to your system okay so to into a particular this environment so that's how you can change the theme by this and you can change the logo the another way is uh you know you need to go to your app and then open that app into the open in app designer mode and then once you open this app designer mode here you see the icon right so generally it's at the default icon but you can that's a default icon but you can see the web resource and then select the web resource from here so whatever web resource you will select from here that will apply to your uh, as an icon into your uh, you know this see this got reflected into your the modern driven app and uh, so the third way you can change the the another way actually to change the theme is you need to go to this uh, microsoft site and uh, you know where you will uh, see the colors like uh, we have on uh, this site yeah here on this uh, example xml for modern driven app so you know you need to copy this can you need to go here and then paste it and then you know just uh, change the color here background color foreground color background however color you need to give put replace with the hash as is the starting point you need to replace just only this code okay and then save this as a xml format so make sure that file is saved as a xml okay and then you need to come here create the solution i have created solution called my theme and you need to add as a web resource here web resource and uh, 
sorry i need to click new web resource uh web resource web resource here choose the file that you want to choose it and then give the my theme so i have already added here right and then give the my theme theme and then save it so i have already saved it you can see it as a web resource okay and then format is xml okay then you need to again go to your uh, add existing now and need to go to the settings because you are changing the environment setting so there is a environment setting called uh, override header color okay so that's i have already override app header color web resource but that's not one i have added this this is the settings so that's called override app header color and you need to click select this and then click on add it and in the edit you need to click new here that's the environment setting and in here you need to give the uh, you know the schema name c r 90 b b dash underscore theme okay and then you need to save it so once you save this and then you need to do the publish all customization so basically this is where you change the your entire uh entire uh, settings okay in your sorry in your entire environment all the modern in this environment whatever modern driven app will be there the theme will be applied as per this color combination but if you want like my, I have a five modern driven app and I don't want to display all this to my all the modern driven app. So what you need to do is you need to go to that particular modern driven app and then uh, you need to click here. There's another I haven't saved it. Once you save it, you know, there will be two another options. OK, so let me save save this maybe my so what you do once you save this right my theme so you need to open the same app and and then set that setting to defaults then it will not be applied to other uh, apps okay so that's all for this video there are these are the two ways that you can set the logo and the themes into your system if you like my video please keep liking my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for love and support i will meet you in the next video Bye bye